Welcome to G-Ball Vision, everyone. Today, we have an exciting one planned for you. We are talking about the Migron Centurion and the Migron Moyerl. The Migron Moyerl, let's start with that one first. This made a huge splash in the budget market earlier this year. It was raved about and for good reason. It is a fantastic EDC knife uh, at a wonderful price. Now, we will be doing a versus here, but this is going to be more of a traditional battle than a listed battle. Just because these knives are so comparable from top to bottom that it wouldn't really be fair to do a list you know, like we typically do a battle. So I figured we would go through both of these knives and come to a conclusion. Now, this will be my bias, my opinion, of course, uh, but I will try to do my best to take myself out of it. I do have both. I did buy both of these knives with my own hard-earned money. So they're really... Uh, is no winner or loser for me in this situation. Uh, and in their own right, they are both fantastic knives. So the Moyer Arrow came out several months back, and at under $50, it was and is a fantastic knife. Coming in 14C28N, G10 handles. This one has all blacked out hardware and a PVD coated blade. You have a titanium milled clip. Great access to the liner there and they chamfer it. It has incredibly good action. Your only means of deployment are the opening hole there, but it works absolutely fantastic. You have this nice drop point blade, fairly low tip. Going to be a great user blade shape, no question about it. It's actually a relatively good size. We'll go ahead and just pull the roller out here real quickly. About, about seven and a half inches overall, which, you know, for an EDC knife, it is a wonderful size. You can get a full purchase, get right up behind the edge. Uh, for, you know, some decent controlled cuts, some pinpoint precision cuts, uh, great ergos. It's very comfortable. You do have a backspacer there, which aids in some comfort. You do not feel that pocket clip at all. This is one of the best investments you can make in a knife at the $50 or under price point. And in my opinion, uh, Taking into account Sencut, Kubi, you know, you name the company, Migron is beating them in the, the $60 and under price range. There's no, absolutely no comparison. Uh, Migron is doing a fantastic job when it comes to their budget knives. They also do a fantastic job when it comes to their higher end knives as well. This one's pretty dirty. I've carried this one quite a bit. These scales have maintained some semblance of being white, uh, but they definitely need cleaned. I have gotten it dirty and cleaned it back to basically new. A little bit of hot water, a little bit of soap, and a toothbrush will get this basically back to nice and clean. So I'm going to leave the white the way it is. I will probably clean it one last time and then try to keep it nice and clean because uh, I've used the crap out of this and I, I don't really plan on, eh, I might, it might get dirty again. We'll see what happens. The opening hole is fantastic. It is nice and easy to thumb flick, nice and easy to reverse flick. You can get right into that ridge there with your middle finger. Nice and easy to deploy this knife. Now let's move on to the Centurion. Now the Centurion is actually, this is a version three Centurion in a sense because they did two other Centurions in a premium version. So, and I have the uh, Centurion too, which is a fantastic knife. It is 
uh, deployable only by dual thumb studs, S90V, uh, fantastic knife. And when I saw this was coming out, I jumped on it immediately because of how much I liked the Moyero, how much I liked the the upper tier Centurion, and how much I've liked all of Migron's other budget knives. Uh, and, and there's definitely room for a couple other Migrons to be on screen here, but because we are talking about the newer Migrons, and these are definitely the two best of the year from Migron. Uh, this one is also very similar. Comes in under 50 bucks, 14C, 28N for the blade steel. This one's also PVD coated. You have dull thumb studs, and you have a flipper tab for deployment. Uh, great detent, very well tuned, just like the Moyero is. You have beautiful G10 handles that are extremely well finished. Look at that finish work on the G10. Nice and soft, but still grippy at the same time. Fairly odd, uh, if you ask me. Like It's smooth and soft, but when you really need to grip this knife, it's grippy. So it's, I don't know. Some sort of voodoo magic Migron has going on over there. And if you're familiar with knives and been around the knife game, Artisan has, Artisan Cutlery has done some similar looking G10 and it is fantastic. It's got like hues of gray or white in it. So it looks really good and it's really well finished. All the edges are softened. Great access to the liner with a chamfer. You have a milled titanium clip, G10 geared backspacer, extremely comfortable. Uh, this is basically the only grip that you will have on the knife. And this is kind of where this knife loses, you know, about a half a point to this knife. But this knife, the Centurion, in my opinion, guys, is a better value, okay? Uh, the G10 on the Moyero is very nice. You know, it's good quality. Uh, it looks good, but it does not compare to the Centurion's G10. Uh, it just doesn't. This has like stippling done in it and it provides some nice texture. You can hear it where this is more softened, more finished in my opinion. Uh, you know, the edges are nicely knocked down and chamfered, where these are more blocky. And and this knife is fantastic, so don't get what I'm saying twisted up. Uh, it's just, it comes down to the finishing of the Centurion as to why I like this knife just a touch more than the Moyero. The only spot the Moyero for me has any type of advantage is you can get right up behind the blade with that finger choil. I really enjoy that. I like that. But it's not a decision breaker for me. It doesn't make or break a knife for me if it doesn't have, you know, that full choke up spot because I can get plenty of work done in the standard grip with this knife. And if need be for precision type work, I could still get my pointer finger tip in there behind the edge or my middle finger right there in front of the flipper tab if I needed to do something like that. I still could, you know, have some semblance of a choke up just due to how big that sharpening choil is. It is not a finger choil. I would not recommend sticking your finger, you know, all the way in there because you will cut yourself on the edge of that blade there. Um, the action on this thing is also impeccable. Uh, it, it's incredible. For 50 bucks, what you can get these days, uh, I, I've said it before and I'll say it again and I'll probably say it, you know, in the future. Uh, 10, 15 years ago, for 50 bucks, you would not get any type of quality like this it you know it'd be heavy it would not be it'd be like os8 steel it would be overpriced heavy 
uh, gritty, you know, it, it just would not be that great. Would it cut? Yeah, sure, but that's about, and that's even got a question mark over that. Uh, typically, you know, Sog and Gerber and Kershaw, which Kershaw was the better of them back then. Uh, but anyway, what you're getting these days for 50 bucks is absolutely insane. Uh, you know, you could seriously buy either one of these knives and you, you could have this knife for years and years and years and it would last and hold up and be wonderful for you that whole entire time. Uh, both have 14C. It's tough, tough stuff. It holds a good edge. It's very corrosion resistant stuff, especially with a good coating on it. Uh, makes it even more corrosion resistant. And uh, I'm just a huge fan of 14C28N. I'm a huge fan of Migron and what they continue doing. Uh, and when I say the Centurion beats this knife, I am just talking about value, right? Because they're the same. Same materials. Uh, the Migron is slightly bigger than the Moyero. Not by a whole lot. Um, this is coming in about just shy of eight inches, like seven and 15 sixteenths. And this one's coming in at seven and a half. So you're getting close to a half inch more, probably mainly all in the blade, just a smidge in the handle and then the rest in the blade. Uh, and, and that matters to some people. And I love how it has this dip here for my thumb. I like the dull deployments with the thumb studs and the flipper tab makes a huge difference to me. A couple of the features that this knife has makes a difference to me. Uh, you know, the dual deployments, that makes a little bit of a difference to me. The, the better finish on the G10, that makes a little bit of a difference to me. And that's the two key differences uh, that really make this knife just go that half a percentage point ahead of the Moyero. They both have great access to the liners. They both have a great chamfer on the liners. They both have great action. They both have milled clips, uh, nice and slicey, good edges from Migron, both coming in good steel. You could not go wrong with either of these knives. I've been asked by lots and lots and lots of people you know, which one is better? Which one should you go with? Go with either one that you like better. Um, you know, with whichever design you like better. But the ultimate question that I am answering here, what is the better value? They are both the exact same price, the exact same materials. But the Migron Centurion just has that little extra something to it that the Moyero does not have. I would love to see this knife in a premium form, uh, titanium and like S90V, keep it a liner lock. That would be just absolutely outstanding because uh, I love this knife. And like I said, would you prefer a nice drop point blade here with a bigger belly or do you prefer more of a clip point with a smaller belly but a long straight edge they both still have a nice pokey tip like i said you're gonna win either way get both of them two for a hundred bucks i mean you have two knives for the rest of your life no question about it uh they'd be a great one two punch um but at the end of the day this one wins it for me on value and just the knife itself. Do I like the blade shape on this one a touch more for EDC type tasks, work-related type tasks? Yeah, a, a touch more. I do prefer this blade shape, uh, but I still love a nice clip point blade like this. Tons of utility in it as well. Uh, they all have their ups and downs, so to speak, or their pros and cons. Every blade shape is going to have its pros and cons. So it just kind of depends. Do you just need a knife 
to cut stuff with, then this is your guy here. Do you need a true workhorse and EDC type, you know, knife? Then the Moyero might be the better option here. Uh, but like I said, it goes back to some people really like that value uh, aspect of things. And if that's the case, if you're looking for the best bang for your buck, the Migron Centurion is going to take the cake for that one. It has a little bit more weight to it, uh, just a little bit. You know, it's a little stockier. It just feels like you have a little bit more in your hand with this one. Like you could get a little bit more done. Uh, so I'm giving the nod to the Centurion by just the slightest bit. But like I said earlier, it does not take anything away from the Moyero. They are both absolutely outstanding knives. Uh, and you could not go wrong with either one of them. Let me know down in the comments which one would you pick. Do you have either one of these knives? Have you been looking at either one of these knives? Let me know down below. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Am I completely off balance with this one? Or am I dead nuts on it? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, give me a thumbs up. And if you're new or you're not subscribed to the channel and you've been here before, hit the subscribe button down below the video. I'd love to have you here. You would be welcome with open arms into the G-Baller Brotherhood. I love you guys. I will catch you on the next one.